What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Pack Shit, episode thirty-two. Thirty-two. Today, welcome back. Welcome back. Me, Jose, the one-on-ones. The one-on-ones. Um, welcome back, guys. I know we have been, uh, me and Santi, we left for a little bit. Um, no. <laughs> we we uh, we went to the army. Be. You know, uh, fought the World War Three. That's gonna happen. No. Have yeah, you heard about Have you heard about all the no. the stuff been going on with like Russia and how uh, Joe Biden's like getting on their bad terms and stuff? No, nah, not really. You'd have to. You'd well, have I mean, there's not really a lot. It's just that what I just told you. <laughs> they, they, Joe Biden has been has been uh, kind of I guess irritating Russia. Um, I don't really know in what ways, but Joe Biden's doing a lot of stuff behind closed doors to the point where. Everyone's just kind of getting pissed off at him. No one, no one really wants him as a president again. Yeah. So I think Trump's gonna win probably. If he goes against him. Yeah. To be pretty, pretty. The gas prices. One dollar. No. <laughs> We're going up. Whenever <laughs> Joe Biden's gone, it's going back down. It's going back down. That's all I care down. about. That's all I care about. It's all about the gas prices. It's all about the gas prices. Dude, tell me you saw the Ryan Garcia fight. I did. Well, I I did see it, but I didn't see it. I was only able to make out parts of it because what I was watching, I was watching it off of YouTube uh, and it had a just an ad in the middle of it. And so I was able to make out a few of the actions that they were doing. And when <laughs> I saw the ending, I was like, no way did it end off of that because I saw what he went for and I saw what he hit. Yeah. And I was like, dude, he fell on his knees for that. Like, But what, what, who were you going for? I was going for Ryan. Okay. I was honestly hoping Ryan would win. Yeah, me too. Because I, I felt like speed would have would have overcome the, and it the brute it force, but... Travolta did get that hard hitting hit on his liver, so yeah. I was like, "Yeah, yeah." I, I didn't, it, I didn't think he'd stay down the entire ten seconds. I mean, he, yeah, I, I didn't think it was gonna stop. It was the liver. I mean, obviously everybody was going. Well, there was a lot of people going for for Davis, but there was a huge amount of followers going for Ryan Garcia. Yeah. I really wanted Ryan Garcia to win just because I thought the same thing. Speed was gonna annihilate Davis, and he had him in the first like two rounds, but. He uh he started slowing down, started getting hit, a lot of body shots. Yeah. Started stumbling, you know. It was irritating to see. But I mean Javante did he's a, an amazing boxer. So like I don't really have anything negative to say towards him. I knew one of them was gonna win, um, like by knockout somehow, because I knew they were not gonna go the full twelve. Uh, yeah. But obviously Ryan Garcia started saying I don't want to call him excuses because I'm pretty sure he was pretty messed up. Um, but he had like rehydration claws and and you know he had to drop down to Javante Davis's weight because he was at 140, 142, mm-hmm. and he had to drop down to 135 to be able to fight uh, uh, Davis. So he had to lose weight. You know, those are all those stuff. That's good. I didn't was, know that. Yeah. So now he said if he does fight Davis in the future, he wants Davis to go up. To meet him at his weight, mm. so they could fight again, which maybe it'll make a difference, maybe not. But pretty crazy. Davis is a cocky, cocky fucker. <laughs> really, really cocky. Which he deserves. It. He's, he's, he hasn't lost a fight yet, but I mean, he's just he talks a lot of shit, bro. Yeah, it's crazy, crazy, crazy times. I mean, they both talk shit. I mean, I, I find that kind of, I don't know. If I were a boxer, I wouldn't be talking shit to anyone if I were ever to be, like, going up against people. <laughs> I'd be the silent type. Because yeah, I, yeah. I don't really see why. And that's how Canelo was. Canelo, Canelo, his whole career, he was just like, well, we'll see in the ring. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, he was just like, well, we'll see. You know, like, he wouldn't talk shit like, oh, you're going to lose. Like, you suck. You're the worst boxer. Whatever. Like, but every every interview they had or post-conference with uh, Davis and, and Ryan, it was just non-stop talking shit. Yeah. Of like, oh, you're going to get that left hook and oh, shut up. You're going to be on the floor. I'm going to go to sleep. Just yeah. talking all this shit. At the very start where Ryan was like, I'm going to knock you out in the first round. Yeah. You're going to get him back up. He could have he had him, man. He, he could have had that whole fight. It was really disappointing because a lot of people obviously started talking shit like, oh, Ryan Garcia sucks, this and that. But like, he's a really great fighter. I've seen him go off bro in other fights yeah i mean even though he lost he's still a million times better than the average person so nobody could really talk shit exactly like all those people that are talking shit they're just scum yeah yeah pretty much and then canelo came up yesterday before his fight he dropped that uh that interview where they asked him about uh how he felt with uh davis Mm -hmm. and then that's when he said that 
he's not retired yet which people are kind of seeing of like oh maybe they'll fight in the future or something mm -hmm. but um mainly he was just kind of trying to get across of like he's a great fighter but there's a lot more that comes to it to be the face of the boxing um which was pretty like very very true because he did just say that in that fight that person is going to be the face of boxing but there's a lot more stuff that comes to it you know like you got to yeah. be humble you got to you got to be a people's person you know just i guess the way that that fight played out he doesn't deserve to be saying he's the face of the boxing if he fought someone like ryan which ryan is really young and he's he's he, you know smaller or taller whatever but yeah pretty crazy pretty crazy yeah it was a crazy fight it's pretty cool though yeah it was it was a nice fight expensive it was like 85 bucks uh, for a ticket for no for a fight for the fight itself to watch the fight on the tv oh uh, but you just streamed it right i just watched it on youtube yeah with an ad in the middle <sighs> well anyways let's talk about minecraft the sex update but <laughs> let's let's talk about the new update it's not even it's a thing it's a thing i have the update you press um <coughs> press a me you to, me you try yeah out. yeah yeah it's yeah. it's co-op it's co <laughs> <laughs> ow hey look up something on there right now no. yeah ho hold on real quick no. <laughs> <laughs> anyways what did you want to <laughs> what did you what did you want what did you want to talk about what did Look, you have i don't know I, I wanted to talk about guardians of the galaxy with you but you, you haven't seen it I yet i have not seen it i it know came out. a lot about it I you know, know a lot about it yeah enough all right spoiler warning right now what do you know about it all right, shut <laughs> the fuck no, i mean i i know that it's focused on on uh, on rocket a lot throughout the movie i know there's a lot i don't know it's about everybody but does rocket i mean people think that he dies you want me to answer? <laughs> all right, I'll answer. You gotta watch the movie for yourself. God. The, what? It, what? What? When the posters started coming out, when the movie was getting closer, um, they started making posters that were like focused on Rocket. Yeah. You know, like, have you seen the posters? No, not really. It was like a poster of, uh, like, half of uh, Rocket's face, and then his eye is the reflection of the Guardians. Yeah, so I'm trying to imagine it, I can't imagine it. Yeah, yeah, like just imagine like Rocket's face, but in his eye, you can see the glare, the reflection, and it's just, uh, you know, like Quill and Gamora, oh, okay. all of them just standing there. And then the other one was like a picture of everybody walking, but Rocket, it's everybody is like cut off, and it's just Rocket standing there. So, yeah, I mean, was it good? It was good. It was good. I give it. I give it like an eight. An eight? I give it an eight. Wow, a lot. It, of... I, it, it was it was it was actually kind of <clears> surprising <throat> watching it because I've been so tired of the movies recently. Recently, like the movies just haven't been good, yeah. and they're just there's a bunch of crap going on, and they're always just pushing an, an agenda nowadays. So mm -hmm. it's just obnoxious when I'm watching them, and I'm like, this is the same as the last movie, or like because some of this stuff it. is the same theme, and it's just. They're trying. They're, they're trying something new, but they're trying something new that just doesn't. It doesn't make sense, and it's just. It's obvious that they're just doing something that they shouldn't be doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It should be focused on entertainment, but they're doing it for other reasons, mm -hmm. and thus the movie is not coming out as good as they think they think it would be. Yeah, yeah. But th this movie did it, it. It was good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I wouldn't say I'd watch it again. There's it a lot of out, people. But it was good. There's a lot of people that uh really said that it was probably just as emotional or more emotional than endgame it was really emotional yeah way more the yeah. endgame wasn't really emotional at all not really just like you know iron man dies and Captain well, yeah America i, I guess old, that but yeah that, that wasn't was, really that emotional everybody came back and you know when spider-man and uh and iron man first hug each other again you know? yeah a little stuff but i knew it wasn't that emotional but i knew this one was gonna be pretty pretty up there the only issue i have with it is well no i have some issues with it but i mean i, I one of it i don't know if i should say it but i guess i will it, one I of the main it's really a spoiler is this just too, it's too it's too much music 
it, uh, at least at the very beginning of it there was just so many it, it was like music one after another one after another whenever something would get serious and something like another like music would just pop up again and just like I don't know. It took me out of it. I was yeah, like, yeah. Why are they playing so much music? But they've, they've always done that, especially yeah, they, the they've always of the done it. But movie. it was it was too much. It's too much. It was way more than the previous ones. Yeah, I get that. I can see that. So because yeah, they've always had a lot of music. Guardians of the Galaxy specifically, because they're yeah. That's you know, that's what that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Which I didn't mind, but like I said, it was just too much. But that's cool. I mean, I'm really glad that that movie came out as good as it did because no one really paid attention to it everybody yeah. was just like oh it's gonna be another Guardians of the galaxy but now like everybody that's all they're talking about but yeah like i said uh the movies nowadays they're pushing things and it's mainly because of disney and yeah. so people are just now whatever's associated with disney like marvel is mm-hmm. they're just like scrap it like that movie's just gonna be pushing some crap we're not gonna take our kids we're not gonna watch it like it's not enjoyable yeah but this one this one i would say is pretty enjoyable i like yeah, i need to watch it it was sure. good there's also uh, a lot of DC movies that are coming out that are looking really good. Like The Flash. <sighs> okay, you know what? There's one There's one movie we could talk about that I'm pissed about. Which one? Aquaman 2. Okay, why? Because I Amber Heard. Ah. She's still there. She's still there? She's still I there. I did not know that. She's still going to be there. I'm not the going to watch it, and I think a lot of people are not going to watch it as well. Just because of her, yeah. Yeah, because but, of her. There's nothing else. They can make the trailer look really, really dope, but I'm not going to watch it because she's in it. Yeah, but uh, they're making a Beetlejuice two. I never seen Beetlejuice. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Honestly, this was a <laughs> short one. <laughs> <laughs> Just cut the whole thing. <laughs> You've never seen Beetlejuice? No, see, I have, but I literally don't remember it except for the eyes and the mouth. So you don't remember? Beetlejuice, I don't remember Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, any of it. No. Like. <laughs> I just That's know that crazy. he was like a white face and he had green mouth. Yeah, it's very it's very old fashioned. It's a pretty old movie. Yeah, but, I, I um, never I never liked it. I saw it one time like just a little bit of it and I was like I'm not watching that. Well, the new movie that they're making, part two, um, it's gonna have a, uh, and this is like eighty percent true. Not saying it's for sure true, but it's gonna be a uh, Johnny Depp, um, Winona Ryder. You know who Winona Ryder is? No. Uh, the mom of of Will and Stranger Things. Have you, seen, uh, have you seen Edward Scissorhands? No. You've never seen Edward uh, Scissorhands? We've talked about this one. I've never seen that what movie. F- no way. Dude, go home. Pack this up. All right, go guys. Home. Hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a very short one today, but... <laughs> Dude, that's one of the best movies. God damn it. You need to watch it. I don't know. It's hard, it's hard for me to watch. I mean, now I'd probably watch it because I actually do kind of like criticizing some movies and like actually reading into some of them. Yeah, there's a lot of movies and shows that I, that were like really popular, and I was just kind of like, eh, like I don't think I'll be into it. But then when I started watching it, I was like, damn. Yeah, like I'm actually starting to think of like if I want to become somewhat of a critic in some way, to some degree, I'd have to go watch my uh, Little Mermaid. To go watch. Of all the movies, I was like, oh, he's gonna be a critic, or right? you're like Little Mermaid. <laughs> I'm. I don't know. Nah, what do you I, think I, about I, it? What do you think about I'm just, it? I'm just pissed at live remakes. They're they're annoying already. I, I don't like them at all. And then especially, um, again, it's the same thing. They're they're pushing crap in these movies. And one of the one of the new ones that they're they're thinking of doing is Lilo and Stitch. Yeah. They're thinking of doing a live action for that. Mm-hmm. And they got people that are actually Hawaiian, but people are complaining because they're not dark skinned enough. Yeah. It's just the stupidest thing. Like I am, it's and people are kind of half and half on the little memory just because you know, um, because he's African American instead of yeah being white. Yeah. Which Disney, what well, people are saying that Disney's trying to do that. You know, they're trying to force stuff into movies. Yeah. To be, you know, with the culture, so they won't be, you know, like. Some people obviously fell in love with it, like, oh, she's, you know, she's, she's, uh, African-American, but, like, a lot of people didn't like it because of that fact. Yeah. Which, well, which, honestly, like, it is what it is, you know what I mean? But yeah, if you're I mean, gonna keep the movie the same, like, keep it the same. It's not even, like, a racist thing. It's just yeah. kind of, like, get a character that looks like the, the cartoon character, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, like, the one thing that, that they could do, that they should do, which I don't know why they're not doing it, is Princess and the Frog. Yeah. 
I don't know why they don't do Princess and the Frog. Dude, a live action of Princess and the Frog would be That one would dope. be actually pretty good. Like, oh, yeah. They, they would, don't have would... to be race swapping Ariel. Yeah. It's an actual, like, black character, you know? Yeah. Like, it's, it's... Yeah, and then if they if they make a Princess and the Frog, and then they bring a white person, like, they can't do that. You know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. going to be... And again, again, it's not a racist thing. It's just kind of like... Just keep it the same as, as a cartoon. Like, if you're changing the whole cartoon... You know, it's like changing a whole character. Yeah. So, it just... It's crazy, but Princess of Frog, wow. I never really put my head around But see, I'd still be pissed because I'd rather it stay animated and not make a live action. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm tired of live actions. The live actions, they don't look good. They don't, they're not as expressive as the animated. Mm -hmm. Like you saw how uh, Flounder looks in Little Mermaid. He just looks like a regular ass fish. Yeah. There's no character to him. Even the crab, I forgot the crab's name. He doesn't, he doesn't, there's no character to him. Uh, There's no expression. I forgot his name too. <laughs> what was the crap name? I don't know. Ben. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> <laughs> Look up the crab's name. From Little Mermaid. Is it my Little Mermaid or is it Little Mermaid? It's my Little Mermaid. I felt like I was saying it wrong. <laughs> is it not the Little Mermaid? Oh, <laughs> I think it is the Little Mermaid. Why would it be my Little Mermaid? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it sounds weird. Yeah. The Little Mermaid. A Little Mermaid. No. Sebastian. Sebastian. See, I knew that from the top of my head, bro. So, anyway, um, you know, yeah, DC is making some good movies, dude. Like the Flash. I honestly, I honestly do hope the Flash will be good. Yeah, you've seen the trailers, right? Yeah, with, it, it looks with decent. the OG Batman and um, what's it called? He's bringing uh his old self, Supergirl's in it. Yeah, Lex Luthor. It's gonna be pretty sick. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Yeah, very, very I, uh, I think they're trying. <sighs> it's uh, have you seen the cartoon of it? No. Of what they're trying, they at least adapt in some way. Where it's uh, it's called Flashpoint, I believe. Oh no, I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. So like in in that one, it's um, the Flash goes back to save his mom, and mm-hmm. then he comes back to his time, but because he saved his mom, his time altered, all kinds of things. Oh shit. Where instead of uh. Bruce Wayne living it's actually his dad that lives and his mother lives and Bruce dies and the mom becomes the Joker and the dad becomes a Batman but he's like using guns and everything and and he's actually killing people left and right but that's what happens in the comics it's it's in the comics and it's in the cartoon yeah and and um which I don't know if that's what they're gonna have Michael Keaton be in his Batman they probably won't have him be like that but I mean it'd be pretty rowdy and then because it's, it's supposed to be like oh and then superman he crash lands but he crash lands i forgot where but he gets reported immediately instead of having like the good parents that he yeah, had yeah. he somebody else had reported him and so he just he was put in like confinement and he was in a dark room he got all skinny he was no powers or anything and they had to break him out and, aquaman and wonder woman are bad and it's like it's 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 pretty cool that i think i think that's the one that they're trying to kind of adapt a bit but they yeah. got another flash in there which is still the same one and then they're gonna have michael keaton's batman be in there and they're gonna have zod come back and then they're gonna have supergirl in there and i think i saw skinny superman so they're still gonna have him in there oh, shit. so i mean I, I hope it is still gonna be pretty good kind of kind of as close as they can get it and hoping it it'll at least be better than the cartoon but i mean I mean, I they're know, also. I'll still they're, check it out. Yeah, they're also making another Joker too with the. Oh yeah, Lady, Lady Gaga. Gaga. But supposedly it's gonna be a musical, which is could either go I, two I, ways. Could I feel be, off about that. It could be either really, really good, or it could be like really. It depends how much singing is it. And but to think of it like seeing this as a musical and it being as violent as we think it's gonna be, it would be kind of cool. I just don't know where this the singing's gonna fit in. Especially from the first one, yeah, to just become a musical. I don't know where in the second one. It's like a, it's so weird. Yeah, but I think people. I mean, maybe people are just saying that because Lady Gaga's in it. But I mean, it, it'll be interesting. It's gonna be an interesting. Movie. I don't know when it comes out. But there's a lot of good movies coming out this year. Yeah. Or I don't even want to say good movies. Just you don't movies. even know if they're good. Just say movies. Honestly, yeah, I'm just saying movies coming out because. I can't they, even tell if they're going to be good anymore. They've been disappointments lately, except for Guardians of the Galaxy. That, mm-hmm. that one's pretty decent. 
and the Mario movie. The Mario movie was yeah. pretty good. Mario was really good. And <laughs> we can talk about Mario. You want to talk about that real quick? Yeah, Our yeah, opinions, because yeah. I know Surgeon, Co- was it? Yeah, Surgeon Cody, talked about it. Oh, did y'all talk about it? No. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. No. Ah, uh, dude, you got pulled over again. How many fucking times, Shut up, dude? shut up, shut up, listen. You wanted to be a cop shut and you're over here getting pulled shut over up. left and right? Listen, listen. Look, I'm driving, right? Okay. Look, just for the record. <laughs> that look. was your first mistake. Look. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, listen. I don't drive. No. Yeah. <laughs> I was driving down the highway. And then... Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to speed limit. Because one thing you got to know about me is if there's a cop in the road, I'm going I'm to spot him miles away like mm-hmm. i'm gonna see him miles away and i know it's a cop yeah so anyways i saw him from like my rear view mirror like way way back there he switches lanes to get behind me and i'm like all right this dude always does this they always do this right so he pulls me over and i'm like shit it's over my life's over no. mm-hmm. he pulls me over i get off the highway i pull over to the little gas station and he uh when he pulls me over he sits there for like 10 minutes, mm-hmm. like five to 10 minutes, just sitting there. And then I'm like, you know, what's this? What's taking him so long? And then he puts on his speaker and he tells me, turn off the vehicle. And I'm like, ah, oh, it's over. No. <laughs> so I turn off the car and I already knew because I've studied this shit. So I already yeah. knew he was going to be like, put your hands out the window. And then, yeah, that's what he said. He's like, put your hands out the window. I was like, God damn. Put my hands out the window. He walks up and then he he's like, his hands on his gun. Not pulling it out he was just like yeah. on it walks up slowly and he looks in the car and then um as soon as he looks in the car he's like shit and he was like sir i'm extremely sorry um last night what i had pulled someone over same exact car as mine um same color um pretty much exactly the same he he said he couldn't stress it enough it was exactly like mine mm-hmm. um but when he walked up to the car he uh when as soon as he got like right next to his window that guy booked it and just left mm-hmm. and i told him why don't you because the first thing you do when you pull someone over is check the license plate you know run it to see if there's any warrants on their arrest yeah. or anything um but he uh he couldn't run the license plate because that guy had a fogged up license plate mm-hmm. so he couldn't run his license plate so he thought it was me um so basically just apologize for you know pulling me there and i told him like well how, how did you tell by looking in the car that it wasn't you know them and he said that the the steering wheel it said SRT because it was a Hellcat mm-hmm. and mine's just a regular uh, Challenger. But it was pretty crazy. He just let me go. But I thought, I thought it was over. Dude, if your thing had that on the steering wheel, you would have been fucked. Oh yeah. No. He would have. He would have. Good thing he remembered that small detail. Dude, yeah. Because I told him like, dang, like imagine, imagine, bro, just imagine. Is that your best friend? Huh? No. Y'all don't go out and drink. No. <laughs> he'll be like yeah this guy i met him i i, I pulled him over on accident thinking he was a, was like, a criminal yeah now we're friends it was it was crazy i really thought it was gonna be over like i i did nothing illegal but when he pulled me over i was already thinking like damn do i have any warrants or like why is he gonna do a felony stuff mm-hmm. but it was pretty crazy have you ever been pulled over no never no you know why no because you have a white honda civic no <laughs> white privilege no it's because it's not fast i'm just playing i'm just playing chill 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 no. <laughs> nah i mean i'd rather it not be fast than fast i understand uh, i'm i put that behind me it's in the past no longer am i fast and furious bro this guy used to be num- the number one drifter in the world should have seen him at the parking lots i have videos <laughs> i'm not gonna expose you like that too Thank you. Of course, of course. But you see how he didn't disagree? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's illegal. Rest this man. <laughs> hey, yo. Nah, but yeah, dude. It's been a pretty crazy, crazy few episodes. But you know what? What? We're going to start doing games. We're going to be more interactive. Man, dude. In the park. Shut the fuck. I don't believe you. Shut the fuck. We're going to be more interactive. Um. We're probably going to end this video here, but just wanted to tell you guys that we appreciate all the followers we've been getting. We're at 132. I don't know. 132. Ben? 
Ben? Alright. Come through. <laughs> 132 subscribers. We can't thank y'all enough. It means a lot to us. And we're gonna be more consistent with our videos. We've been on the come up right now. So we've been, you know. I know it's always our freaking excuse, but we're gonna we're gonna come back better and more TikToks. You guys gotta let us know what we what you want us to do, what we should do. And yeah. Keep if you made if you made it all the way through the end to through the entire video, just type in butterscotch. Yeah. Fuck it. Put in butterscotch in butterscotch. the comments if you went through the whole video. <laughs> Man, shut the fuck up. Hey, but you know what? Eventually they will. That's the best part. Don't I'm forget. gonna I'm gonna keep this going now. This is what I'm gonna say to I'm gonna be like, hey, drop a word down that we said. And we don't say nothing. Just let them. <laughs> just they're gonna put air quotes and there's just nothing there. And if you do type butterscotch under the butterscotch, put an idea of what we should do next. But remember, like, subscribe, comment, everything. Tell your friends about it. Tell your family. Tell your goldfish. Tell your dog. Tell your cat. Exactly, exactly. And until next time, guys. See you later. Now I can sleep. Now we can rest easy. <laughs> I gotta get